In us is still money line with me. Uh, let's quickly take you through the news. The Senate President Bukola Saraki has said the Committee on Appropriation is expected to present a harmonized report on the 2018 appropriation bill next week. Uh, the Senate committees have been given till Friday 13th, April 2018 to present their reports on the 2018 budget proposal by the federal government's ministries, departments and agencies. Saraki noted that there will be no further extension of time as the committee will take appropriate decisions on the budgets of the MDAs. Meanwhile, President Muhammad Buhari on Tuesday wrote three separate letters to the Senate requesting its confirmation of appointments made into three different government agencies, which include the confirmation of 23 members of the National Population Commission. The federal government on Tuesday confirmed the repatriation of the sum of $322.5 million to Nigeria by the Swiss government as part of funds looted by the late former military head of state, General Sani Abacha. The Minister of Finance, Kemi Adiyoshi, will confirm the release of the funds, said the money was paid to the federal government through the Central Bank of Nigeria on December 18th, 2017. Kemi Adiyoshi, however, denied the media reports on blocking the payment of $16.9 million fees to two lawyers being payment for the recovery of looted funds by the late head of state. However, the federal uh, government of Nigeria has paid its regular financial obligations to the United Nations for 2018, making Nigeria the 74th out of 193 member states of the Global International Organization to fulfill its financial obligations. The spokesperson for the U UN Secretary General, Stefan Dujaric, said in New York that Nigeria paid its annual dues of five million and uh, five million and eighty thousand one hundred seventy nine dollars in full on april 5. the record also reports that nigeria became the 10th country in africa to pay its un regular budgets in full the executive chairman of the nigeria communications commission ncc professor umar uh, gaba and uh, dambata and the governor of the central bank of nigeria godwin mfla have signed a memorandum of understanding to boost mobile money service penetration and financial inclusion in the country. Speaking after the signing of the MOU at the CBN headquarters in Abuja, Dambata said the landmark event is an output of efforts of the joint committee set up by the two regulatory bodies. The NCC's digital transformation policy is aimed at improving good governance with specific emphasis on key sectors of the economy like finance, education and transportation. The Apex Bank, Governor Godwin Emefile noted that with the signing of the MOU, the goal of achieving 80% penetration in financial inclusion is closer to realization. Okay, the Nigerian Communications Commission that's still on the NCC. The Executive Vice Chairman, Professor Gabra Dambata says, Theology Holdings Limited, the preferred bidder for Nine Mobile Limited, has paid the $50 million non-refundable deposit for its acquisition of the firm. Dambata noted that the firm has 90 days to pay the $450 million balance to seal the deal, after which Nine Mobile will be handed over to the Theology. Uh, the NCC vice chairman stated failure to make the complete payments within 90 days will give Smart Communications Limited the reserved bidder to take its place.